Google. It simply says that we are given an integer array called as score of size n, right? As you can see, this is a score of size n. And what I have to do is score of i is the score of the i -th athlete. So basically, there are n athletes, and for every athlete, I have a score in this array. Now, every athlete we will be getting a rank, and they will get the rank on the basis of their score. Highest score athlete will get the first rank. Then the next highest score athlete will get the next rank then next rank and then okay for the first second and third we have gold medal silver medal and bronze medal but for the other athletes we have ranks okay fourth rank fifth rank sixth rank so on and so forth i have to return the answer array of size n where answer of i is the rank of that i athlete and again rank is base rank is on the basis of their score maximum score and according to the maximum score what at what score number they have at at, at what rank number they are they will be getting these names or basically the rank itself let's see with an example what they are saying firstly i know that i have the score of these athletes i have to firstly get these scores in the order of maybe decreasing or increasing so that i can find out what is the maximum score athlete next maximum score athlete next maximum score athlete and so on and so forth so the best obvious choice for us is that okay i can maybe sort all these athletes right i will sort all the athlete scores and i know that the score of 10 should be getting a rank of 1 the score of 9 should be getting a rank of 2 the score of 8 should be getting a rank of 3 and score of 4 should be getting a rank of 4 score of 3 should be getting a rank of 5 because they are in the decreasing order of their score already because i have sorted them in the decreasing order again this is obvious thing because i wanted to assign them these ranks but ultimately, as an answer, I have to return that, okay, for 10, the answer is gold medal. For 3, answer is 5. What is this? Okay, for 10, I know it is. it was on the index 0. For 10, the rank was 1. So, at index 0, I have to put the rank of 1. At index 0, my rank is 1. Again, I can assign 1 to gold medal, 2 to silver and 3 to bronze that I can do separately but this is the basic idea that for score of 3, the, the player having a score of 3 was at index 1. So the player at a score of 3 is at index 1 and he is actually having a score of a rank of 5th. So I will simply assign that rank 5. Now, are in what if these scores are same? Okay, so they have already mentioned that all these scores are guaranteed to be unique so i can just simply have a one-to-one -one mapping from score to index and index to rank or score to rank so basically it is again this is a very good use case to optimize your answer that one score again one score will have one index only and again that will have only one rank so any way i can assign any one-to-one -one mapping i will be good to go that's a very good identification for this problem now okay we have got the entire crux just implement the exact same stuff because we know that we are simply the major operation which we are doing is simply sorting and then other operation is simply checking checking the index or maybe the score and corresponding rank so first operation was we realized it is sorting next operation was iterating on all the scores and assigning them a rank and third operation was that after getting this rank actually getting the answer which means stamping these ranks which you have assigned in the step 2 accordingly to their corresponding indexes and again i am telling you either i can make a mapping of score to rank that will also work or i can make a mapping of score to index from that index i can also get this specific again if i make a mapping from score to index when i am iterating on this rank array i can i can from this score i can get the index and at this index i can place the value of one no worries i'll show you by the trainer also now so we know the basic idea basic crux exactly same we have these scores again for just making as a use case i what i saw that okay maybe i can have one to one mapping between score and indexes from a score i can maybe get the index so i made a simple hash map or an unordered map saying for that score this is the index 
okay again i am saying maybe this is useful maybe not why i am saying that because i realized that to actually stamp the ranks i only need the score because score will be unique for everyone right so i can either use the index or i can use the score both can work but i'll show you how both will work like how you can use both of them now we know that okay we have got this score to index array okay it is completely fine now let's sort this score let's sort the score again the sorting will for sure be required because we want to get these scores in the descending order maybe you can have in the ascending order and iterate from the end it's totally up to you now when i have got all these scores in the descending order make sure this please don't modify the existing array of score make a copy of your score array because it is very bad practice to modify the input right so again you can just maybe do it modify it but always tell the interviewer that okay it's not a good practice and i'm just doing it for the problem itself now when you have sorted the score or the copy of the score array then it looks something like this now it's simply iterate in on all the all the scores one by one and keep on assigning the rank okay this will be have a rank of one rank of two rank of three rank of four rank of five okay now i've assigned the corresponding rank to them you can also make a rank map it's totally up to you now your ultimate aim ultimate target ultimate maksat was that okay for this input which means for a score of 10 you have to assign its rank so either either again i'm i'm telling you one way first way is that for a score you have a rank simply assign that okay you have a score of 10 go and check your rank vector okay it is having a sorry rank map checking okay rank rank of one assign it go and check your let's say score of three okay score of three rank score of three having value of five okay assign five and so on and so forth okay it's a method one method two don't even don't even make this rank array all together why sorry while iterating on this maximum score as in like the sorted score vector you know that this is having a rank of one so for a value of 10 which is for a score of 10 you simply go on to your score to index array you know its index is zero at the index zero simply assign the current rank okay rank i have maintained it is one assign one then go on to next score go and find its index index is three go and index three assign the rank of two or okay eight go rank sorry yeah index two go index two rank of three and so on and so forth so you realized that this will not be required in the option two which i told you and also this entire method of post assigning rank will also not be required so that is how you can do it in both again i showed you both the variations and both the variations are possible just because of just because of that i had one to one mapping between rank and scores cool let's see let's see uh, firstly i will show you variation number one which i showed you but still i have taken the score to index array which you will see will not be used in the variation one which i showed you so again firstly uh, as you know that for the rank of one two and three they have the special names so that's the reason i just simply assign special names to those ranks gold silver and bronze special names i, I show you how i'll use it but then i iterated on the indexes as in all these scores and assign them their corresponding index for this score this is their corresponding index okay now again this will not be used in the variation one now i will make a copy score i will sort that copy score in the decreasing order and then make a rank map which means i will simply iterate on this decreasing order of scores for the first score i'll assign the rank and then for the next score i will increase it by one then again it is iterating and assigning the rank correspondingly as i showed you in the trial run also now simply ultimately in the end your main task is to get the answer answer for answer again answer is saying that for this corresponding for this corresponding score what is the actual rank so either you can use the index or you can use a score both you can use here in this case i am using a score so i got the actual rank actually again what is actual rank? actual rank is the number rank and number but i realized my answer is a string because it is storing gold medal as a string so actual rank is the rank number so i just have the score i know that for every score i will have only one rank so i just simply ask my rank which i computed above this vector so this hash map and then as ultimately if the rank is le less than equal to three just simply ask your rank name for the actual rank name else simply convert that number to an to a string and assign it to answer 
so you realize made major bottleneck is sorting here so complexities of n log n and you are using a hash map of, of rank although you will see that you have not even used it so you can I, entirely remove it but i assure you I, that you can actually remove this entire step merge this entire step onto the previous step and use this this is variation two now okay uh, coming on that can be optimized it again when I say optimization, I actually don't mean optimization because the method which I'm going to show you can be either better than this or maybe worse than this. I'll show you why. So what we are doing, we are primarily doing sorting. Now, if I ask you that, can you just, uh, can you just tell me one sorting algorithm, which is not in log n terms. Again, it can be, again, I'm saying it can be linear. Is there any sorting algorithm which is linear? I'm not saying that it should be O of n. I'm saying it is just linear. Linear, it can be in O of M terms. M is actually maximum element of the array. Yeah, you remembered. It is simply how we do a counting sort, a similar way that earlier I was having this score. I was keeping the indexes, right? Now, this indexes I was keeping track of, maybe to get the answer or stuff. But now if I want to sort it, I will simply take the maximum element of the array. And again, this I will make a score to index array which will say okay this is the score and I have put the corresponding index by default others I will place as minus one 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 what this will tell me again this is actually sorted how because it says that if I iterate from the end the first index I will get as a zero then index of three then index of two then index of four then index of one as you can see it is sorted so Although you will see the time complexity for this will be the entire array length and this will be the bottleneck on the basis of the maximum element of the array. So it is kind of you are using an array to know the occurrence of an element or you can also say you are using an array to store the index of an element which in turn will help you to actually find okay if it is extreme if it is okay if it is far away which means it has a higher score because score is the index and higher the index higher the score and corresponding index is actually showing the corresponding sorry corresponding to a score is showing the corresponding index now what i will do simply the same way i was doing earlier i will iterate from the end which means from here okay first non-negative as you can see this this will be the first value which is not minus one assign it to a rank of one okay here's a rank of one then next value rank of two next value rank of three next value rank of four next value rank of five now again there are two variations either you can make a one-to-one -one mapping from your this from your this score to the rank or you can easily see that you are also storing the index of corresponding rank of corresponding score so again one way is you can either take this score to rank and then use it use it later on to actually plot it the way we are doing earlier or you know that right now you also have the index with me so you know at index 0 i will simply place a rank of 1 index 3 i'll place a rank of 2 index 2 i'll place a rank of 3 index 4 I'll, i can place a rank of 4 index 1 i can place a rank of 5 this is also the way you can do it cool now let's see the code again it's pretty simple exactly same firstly i again this is exactly same i just took the maximum score because this will decide me the size of my score to index array because that i will use it kind of a maybe to make okay it is visited this element or the score is visited or not and thus i will simply iterate on the scores and simply say for the score this is a corresponding index now i can simply have again this is exact same code as you saw earlier also that i will simply iterate on from the end from the super end of the scores this specific vector and if it is minus one okay it is not of i use because i have not encountered the score this is not a good score for me else if it is not then i will assign that specific score a rank which is this specific rank although at this step itself you can assign the answer and say that answer of again whatsoever index you have got at this which means the actual value which means score to index like score to index is the actual index so you can just put this here and assign the rank count rank count plus plus so you will not be needing to go on to this step at all that's also but yeah i made it simple for you to understand how things can work or are working for you to optimize the code so yeah uh, here we just specifically assigned 
for a specific score what is the rank and then ultimately we went on to all the scores and assign the actual rank and then got the actual string rank and return the answer with this we realize the main bottleneck is our maximum score which is the maximum element of the array and again we are using either the hash map of this entire score to index array or uh, again this we can say this is actually the bottleneck of o of maximum element of the array because we will actually use the hash map as a string as a score to index array cool again this can be useful considering of n log n is large but in in many cases this will actually be less uh, optimal than your previous approach because it will be always o of n log n now this will be based on the maximum element and maximum element is actually always will always be more than equal to n so that is the reason i was saying that the above approach again if both o of m and n are equal then this is optimal if not then the above one is optimal cool bye bye take care